This is a short video clip tutorial for white balancing the Toshiba high definition cameras. All our cameras can be white balanced in a similar manner. Here we will use the Toshiba IKHD5 to demonstrate. One of the first things that must be done once you power up an image with a camera is to do a white balance. The white balance is a process of removing unrealistic color casts so that objects which appear in white in person are rendered white in your video. Proper camera white balance has to take into account the color temperature of the light source, which refers to the relative warmth or coolness of the white light and is measured in Kelvin. In order to perform a white balance, you need to video a white reference. If you don't have a white chart, you can use a white piece of paper, a business card, or some white fabric like a towel or a washcloth. Before performing a white balance, you should check what the camera settings are set to. On this Toshiba IKHD5, we do this by using the OSD, the on-screen display, to read the settings. To scroll through the menu pages, we use the page button. Each push will increment to the next menu screen. When you're on the desired screen, the menu up-down button will move your cursor between the lines and the data up-down button will change the value. To get the white balance page, we push the page button three times till we see the white balance menu option. In the mode sub-menu, there are two settings, either manual or AWB. The AWB stands for automatic white balance. If you are trying to get a specific look for your scene, like a cooler blue or a warmer red, then you can use the manual setting and custom set the red or the blue gain values. If you want to get a neutral white, then you should use the AWB mode. Even if you use the AWB mode, you can still tweak and customize your image by adjusting the red and blue paint after you've performed the auto white balance. You should also choose the color temperature of the light that you are videoing in. There are two settings you can choose between. 3200K or 5600K. If you know the actual color temperature value of the light that you're using, then you can set the color temperature to one of our settings that are closest to your lighting. As a rule of thumb, indoor or fluorescent lighting is closer to 3200K and outdoor or sunlight is closer to 5600K. The last items in the submenu are the area presets and an option to view that preset. This tells the camera where in the field of view to take its reference lighting or color temperature from. There are five presets and one custom setting, where the field of view is divided into 64 small areas and the user can either toggle them on or off to tell the camera to use or disregard this area. The final submenu item of area display lets you actually see the area of the screen where this reference is being taken from. So once you have set up the white balance menu to your preference, you push the display key to get rid of the on-screen menu, place a white object into the field of view, and push the AWB button for a second or two. Now this AWB button also doubles as the data up button. If you have the correct amount of light, the camera will perform an AWB and flash AWB OK, or it will flash AWB NG high or low, which indicates that you have too much or too little light. This can be rectified by opening or closing the iris of the lens that you're using and trying the AWB again. Once the AWB has been correctly performed, the red or blue paint can be adjusted if so desired. When you are happy with the white balance that you have chosen, you can push the display button to remove the on-screen display and you can begin your videoing. This completes our AWB tutorial. Please view our other how-to videos.